You know, when I wanted to understand the industrial food system, what I set about doing was very simple. I wanted to trace the source of my food. When you go through the supermarket, what looks like this cornucopia of variety and choice is not. There is an illusion of diversity. There are only a few companies involved, and there are only a few crops involved. What really surprised me most, as I followed that food back to its source, I kept ending up in the same place, and that was a cornfield in Iowa. So much of our industrial food turns out to be clever rearrangements of corn. We are now engineering our foods. We know where to turn to for certain traits, like mouthfeel and then flavors, and we bring all of these pieces together, engineer new foods that don't stale in the refrigerator, don't develop rancidity. Of course, the biggest advance in recent years was high fructose corn syrup. You know, I would venture to guess, if you go and look on the supermarket shelf, I'll bet you 90% of them would contain either a corn or soybean ingredient. And most of the time will contain both. Cows are not designed by evolution to eat corn. They're designed by evolution to eat grass. And uh, the only reason we feed them corn is because corn is really cheap and corn makes them fat quickly. The animals evolved on, on, on consuming grass. There's some research that indicates that the high corn diet results in E. coli that are, are acid resistant, and these would be the more harmful E. coli. And a certain mutation occurs, and a strain called E. coli 0157H7 appears uh, on the world stage. And it's a product of the diet we're feeding cattle on feedlots, and it's the product of feedlot life. The animals stand ankle deep in their manure all day long, so that if one cow has it, the other cows will get it. When they get to the slaughterhouse, their hides are caked with manure. And if the slaughterhouse is slaughtering 400 animals an hour, how do you keep that manure from getting onto those carcasses? And that's how the manure gets in the meat. Sometimes you look at a vegetable and say, okay, well, we can get two hamburgers over here for the same amount of price. Why is it that you can buy a double cheeseburger at McDonald's for 99 cents and you can't even get a head of broccoli for 99 cents? We've skewed our food system to the bad calories, and, and, and it's not an accident. I mean, the, the reason that those calories are cheaper is because those are the ones we're heavily subsidized. When you're engineering foods, you are pressing our evolutionary buttons. I mean, the fact is we're hardwired to go for three tastes, salt, fat, and sugar. These things are very rare in nature.
point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind, and greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Thank you very much. Become an employee of this firm, you will make your first million within three years. Okay? I'm going to repeat that. You will make a million dollars within three years of your first day of employment at JT Morgan. There is no question as to whether or not you'll become a millionaire working here. The only question is how many times over. Now, y'all look money hungry, and that's good. Anybody tells you money's the root of all evil doesn't fucking have it. They say money can't buy happiness. Look at that fucking smile on my face. Ear to ear, baby. You want details? Fine. I drive a Ferrari, 355 Cabriolet. What's up? I have a ridiculous house in the South Fork. I have every toy you could possibly imagine. The best of all, kids, I am liquid. So, now you know what's possible. Let me tell you what's required. You are required to work your fucking ass off at this firm. And lest we forget, that's the only reason any of you became stockholders in the first place. You want to make money. You don't care if they manufacture wire and cable, fried chicken, or grow tangerines. You want to make money. I'm the only friend you've got. I'm making you money. Take the money. the deal that you cannot understand the world today unless and until you recognize that appearance and reality on all things connected with the Antichrist are opposite to each other and unless and until you see with the internal eye in addition to the external sight you will be deceived and misguided. You will not be able to understand and interpret the world today.
we don't get concerned.